Yo, what's going on YouTube? And in today's video, I'll be bringing you a incomplete deck list, but it's one that I just really wanted to share with everybody. An idea that I just kind of sort of wanted to go over. So this is going to be my take on <clears throat> Red, Purple, Luffy. <clears throat> and this is a off brand build of this i'm still working it out it's gonna be crazy it's very 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 spicy it's different for sure but let's go ahead and get into it um so i'm going to be running multiple so again as i expressed before this is an incomplete deck list i'm just going over this idea i'm just going to show you the cards i've been thinking about running in it and once i have a complete i will be releasing a complete deck list but here is the one thus far so i'll give you the core and a review basis but um uh, in no very particular order also are all these cards so uh we're just going to start off with this event here which is it's to die for <clears throat> uh this event when played it ramps you one dawn and then if your opponent has a six thousand powered character on board you get to ramp another dawn and both of these dawn get ramped active you might think to yourself, ah, that's very niche. When is your opponent ever going to have, you know, that very particular character on board? Very often, actually. Very, very often. Um, five down turn, uh, usually your opponent might play a five cost, five, six character. And on six down turn, you can play this. <clears throat> and ramp to eight down while having five down open. Um, that's why I'll be playing this in multiple copies in this deck because it's... Uh, it's really, really, really good. Like I said, this can immediately take you from 6 Dawn to 8 Dawn in a turn and allow you to go into leave your ability uh, if your opponent has played a 5 cost the turn before. And even if that isn't the case, um, even if they cheat out of body, like I said, you'd be playing Rage You and they cheat out of body um, on their first turn. On 4 Dawn, you can play this in ramp 2 and <clears throat> you'll be at 3. And like I said, if you have another one in hand, you can ramp. Again, that'd be eight. You lose a little bit to go to nine. So, um, like I say, really good card. Uh, really, really helps this deck get up there really, really fast. Uh, another card that we'll be playing multiple copies of, and I traded this out for the kid, is going to be the Douglas Bullet. <clears throat> Douglas Bullet is a lot better for helping. Kid might help you defend yourself, but Douglas Bullet helps you in the game so it's what do you want to do do you want to end the game do you want to play the game longer or do you want to win it you know what i mean so douglas bullets allows you for that and if you don't know what douglas bullets effect is his effect is active main so you can even do this to turn these play down active main you may return four dawns to your dawn deck rest up to two of your opponent's characters with a cost six or less then this character gains double attack and it's an 8k body with 10k swing so that means even if you're playing against uh the counterpart of black yellow luffy you can rest both their sabos and then you have a large swing coming in so like you're pretty much in the game when he's on the board uh even if they pump him up to nine you can just uh, you can just take four of your dawn off have six and go 16 into life and they better have it um and that's like i said that's another reason why he's so good or they have to reduce him to ko him to keep themselves from dying um a uh, card that i'm test playing it's in and out is the big mom as well um i i don't know if i will be keeping her in her or if i will be taking her out um or if i'm still playing with the ratios on her uh, as well but she's pretty cool for uh life regen um i think she'll eventually find her place i just don't i don't think that she just is it right now uh, i think that a uh, category being just a slight bit better uh this is just purple category um so if you like want to use this for that crap it's just it's it's okay um unlike the kaido though kaido is pretty good uh again since you're able to ramp so fast you can actually get him onto the board really really quickly like i said if you're playing this card here you can uh you can also this the card allows you to ramp on three down so it gives you like a purple luffy kind of effect by allowing you to ramp up to four and yeah you may only have one don left that's that but you can still use that don for other card effects um <clears throat> and also you can also play there's i think there's a blast breath you can play too that'll ramp you because you go down to two life pretty fast so you, you can play like a bunch of like different ramping cards but like i said kaido Really good just for, I'm uh, going to play him in multiples too, because again, really good rush. Uh, KO's a card on board, and just applies a good amount of pressure. Uh, as Again, as a follow-up to Douglas Bullet, 
then you know you're playing two large bodies that your opponent's just gonna have to deal with. And because of um, <clears throat> Black Maria, which we will be playing in this deck, but again, I don't have the full list. So, you know, those are going to help mitigate you uh, losing all those Dawn, which is going to, you know, be that Douglas Bullet, which is... And so you play these two, and then you go into uh, Black Maria, and it's almost like you lost nothing whatsoever. Uh, to help you, also to help assist with ramping, you will be playing the Missile Sundays. <clears throat> That's just going to help, like I say, on the uh, 5 Don turn. Like I say, if you're a uh, 3 Don current, if you didn't play um, a Zoro Juro, you're going to be playing a uh, 4 Zoro Juro. If you didn't play a Zoro Juro, then you can just go ahead and go into a Missile Sunday on the very next turn. Or even if you did play a Zoro Juro, you can go ahead and swing with the Zoro Juro, take yourself to 6 Don, and play this, take yourself up to... Um, even if you, well, if your opponent does have a larger body on board, if they did manage to play uh, something big the turn before, then you can play this. But if not, then, like I say, you can just, uh, if you play this the turn before, you can ramp one, and then you can play this, and then ramp another. It just helps you for consistently ramping um, throughout the game so that you can get up to that high down turn fast and that's uh, that's really what you're trying to do so that you just go use leader ability so you can go ahead and get your big drops out um again there will be more big drops but again like i said the douglas bullet is really just your game winning card it's just what you use to finish your opponent um <clears throat> you are playing the bond clay uh bond clay put your opponent in sticky situations uh <clears throat> meaning you know once, once you throw that down in tandem with the lunch of cards that you play in the deck then you're just putting your opponent in, like I say, those sticky spots where playing a big monster doesn't help, and you have to worry about a big monster coming down to, you know, hurt you, which sucks. But you, have, you are playing a uh, queen as well. Um, again, uh, you will have more of these ratios in here. Uh, the we completed deck list coming out shortly. You do have. The queens, the queens being good for just allowing you to draw cards. You can use those in the later stages of the game. When you do have eight down, you can just go ahead and, or you do have nine down, you go ahead and use the queen, go down, then use the ability to go back up. <clears throat> the Monkey D. Luffy, I think I'll be playing this at two. Uh, again, it's really good for your top end, and you can use this in the following turn, like I say. Uh, your opponent will have big bodies on the board, so you can go ahead and use this to go ahead and ramp two active Don, then use this effect to ramp another Don, allowing you to ramp three Don that turn, taking you from five to six, and the very next turn being at eight Don. Uh, you throw you some choppers in there, then you're able to defend yourself pretty good, or maybe even just if you have some rad beams, you can use those too. I do plan on play playing multiple rad beams, I just don't have the uh, cards on me, so we'll go and get those. I am only going to be playing the two uh, Rush Luffy though. I think that he's good ratio in there. We are playing the four of the Sanji blocker. Um, uh, again, that's just depending on how you are in the game and what stage you're at. Will you be using him as a body? But you'll be mostly using him as a 2K. And we do have the four Nami searchers. So go ahead and search the Straw Hat packages. Go ahead and search your 10 drop Luffy. He's going to search his little drills. Uh, things of that nature so that you just like I say just go ahead and get up to those dawn a lot quicker You can't search um, Any of these but that's fine. We also have the uh, You can be my samurai, which I think that I will be putting uh, some kids in here um, Just for whenever you get to those later stages of the game and you're playing like your Queens or you're playing your Douglas bullet just to get a dawn back for playing those cards you know, just for a little bit of non efficiency, and just go ahead and help you have a little bit more to work with. When, like I say, whenever those cards do touch down. Um, but like I said, this is a bit of an awkward list that I am running. I am going to say, going to present you guys with a little bit more complete list. Just like I said, I want to touch on the idea of it with everyone. And like, so you just go ahead and try and finish this out yourself and see what you like about it, don't like about it. And, you know, come back to me, tell me which your ideas and what you feel about it but like i say when i saw this card here i just i just thought that this was a really good generic purple ramp card and i think it's very very undervalued because again a lot i think a lot of people underestimate like how often 
again, your opponent on five dawn turn will use that five dawn to summon a five six creature. And you going into six dawn turn, you can give that turn up to go into eight dawn, and your following turn be at ten dawn. I was just like I say, just for anything purple, that's really really good. And like I say, even if you're playing a Kaido and you just play Kaido, and you just minus five dawn, and you go up to seven dawn, then you can use this for three. And still, uh, let's see, use this for three. If you're at seven and you have four, you go up by another two. So you still will have uh, six dawn left active to work with after activating this on a seven dawn turn after playing a Kaido. That's pretty good. You, you still play a pretty effective card, such as a blocker, or and leave one up for an event for your red beams whenever you have, yeah, got something like that. Um, like I said, really cool, really good. Uh, and like, not to mention that, like I said, if you were to play a queen behind that, you go ahead and ramp that Dawn back with leader ability. Um, like I said, uh, and even like I say, it just helps you get to eight faster too. Um, even if, uh, um, like I say, there also will be uh, Porsches in here too. And like I say, this is going to help offset that Porsche play because like I say, when you do play a Porsche, you are going to go down and Dawn. And you're just playing the Porsche to play out the uh, Zoro Joros, play out your Bond Clays. And then like I say, the following turn, if your opponent does have like a larger body on, on board, you just go ahead and use this. You just go ahead and get those two Dawn back. And they like say just proceed to play from there. Uh, you can then go into a queen. You can then go to a missile Sunday. You can go into a lot of things. Like you can go from zero to a hundred really, really fast with this card, which is why I'm emphasizing it so much in this deck and why I'm saying like it's actually really, really cracked in here because again, it allows you to just just get there a lot faster, which is why I'm playing this at four in the deck because again, with uh, all the other ramp cards that you have, it's a uh, it's like a in my opinion, it is a generic um only gishima uh for everything purple uh like i say any in like like again like I, i'm gonna read it out loud for you and i know i'm harping over this card I'm, I'm really you know glazing the heck out of it because you know she's glazing her freaking face over her you know that's why i say it's yum yeah, mom <clears throat> but it's uh add up to one down from your dawn deck said it is active then if your opponent has a character with six thousand power or more add up to one Card from your Dawn deck and set it as active. And its trigger is add up to one Dawn from your Dawn deck, set it as active. It's got a really good trigger and a really good active man effect. This card is crazy good. Uh, like I said, uh, at a bit of a higher Dawn turn, it still allows you to play uh, a decent creature out. You know what I mean? And still proceed to, or even just use your Dawn to swing with what you have on board. Um, when you have, um, when you use this effect, uh, like again, or you've used that effect, the following turn, you'll be at exactly three dawn. Uh, this will allow you to sacrifice three dawn, so you'll have uh, only one dawn that you have to use for his effect. And then, like I say, once you put put in the uh, Tony Tony choppers, then you'll be able to because you have the two active dawn from that, you'll be able to play a Tony Tony chopper, go up another dawn, and give yourself the last rest of dawn that you need for that. So you'll be at um. Uh, uh, well, you still be at two dawn for the turn, but you've given yourself the dawn you've needed. For his effect, you know what I mean? And, like, what other card can you play in purple that will do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to think of the card combinations like that, like, before, uh, you could, like I say, you could Douglas Blues yourself down to no Dawn, and then you'll be at three, and then you're stuck. Now you can go tack this. Your opponent still has a board if you didn't swing into it, you know what I'm saying? Even if you did, and you left them one high-cost creature to still have for their board, like I said, you tap this, <coughs> there it goes three, you get two, <coughs> you summon this. <coughs> Excuse me. You get an additional one. Plus you tap.